Live at five, it could be the state's biggest success story or an expensive cautionary tale. Plant Vogel is now fully operational and it is the most advanced technology in the nuclear industry today. Lander News first reporter Abby Casores went to Vogel 175 miles southeast of Atlanta to see if the state's investment in nuclear energy is actually paying off. These are the first nuclear reactors built in the U.S. in more than three decades. Now that they're all operational, generating the bulk of Georgia's power, the utility companies in charge of the project are showing them off. Now that Unit 4 is online. From the 60-story high cooling chambers to the Westinghouse AP-1000 reactors. That is where the magic happens. Within that building, we are splitting atoms. We were along for the ride, finding out how the energy produced here gets to your homes. Voltage transmission line and the line that you see behind us west from Plant Vogel toward Atlanta. Senior Vice President of Southern Nuclear John Williams says a single half inch pellet creates as much energy as 149 gallons of oil or 200 pounds of coal. He says other companies are calling, trying to replicate their success. I'll prefer not to say who they are, um, but there are both domestic and international utilities. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp says this plant is key when pitching Georgia to international investors. People in the United States and around the world are looking for an abundant supply of clean energy, and we have that in Georgia. The project is still receiving criticism from ratepayers. The project is seven years late and $17 billion over budget. But also I asked the question, what would the cost be had we not done this, you know, if we just stopped? Uh, where would we be right now? People would be using that against us instead of us being the, on the offensive of going after companies and new jobs and new, new investments. Kemp says there's already been discussions of a possible fifth unit with federal tax credits for clean energy projects. So future energy needs are something we need to be talking about now, right when we're finishing bringing Vogel 3 and 4 online. And I think you'll continue to hear people talk about that, not just here in the state of Georgia, but certainly around the southeast. The possibility of expansion is still undecided. These reactors will operate for another 60 to 80 years, producing energy into the next century. In Waynesboro, I'm Abby Casores.